Hi Virgo, welcome to your December 2021 Taroscope with me Raphael from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for joining me. Quick note, my readings are for your sun, moon and ascendant sign. So whether you're a sun, moon or rising sign, uh, Virgo, this is for you. And I always advise that you watch all three to get a clearer, more complete picture of how they're going to speak to you. With that said, remember they are general readings. Not everything's going to resonate with everybody and that is just fine. You should always use your own discernment before we start as always i would like to bless my decks of cards with all forms of love light peace prosperity and abundance and i pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise and they help you on your path to your highest vibrational good so for your actions and interactions with the world at large over the course of this month you get The full card, right? So new things, new places, new people, new energies. This is about you actually going very new directions. This is about you choosing a different path for yourself in some way, shape or form. What it also suggests as well is that this month you're open to the possibilities and there are many possibilities that can find you. Remember the full card is a point or a moment of destiny, but very often we don't recognize it for what it is. And then after we look at it and we're like, ah, okay, so that was the moment that changed everything, right? Um, the fact that you have this in your actions and options, this is about your actions and interactions. This is about what you do. So something that you initiate this month has far reaching ripples and uh, far reaching possibly blessings as well. Maybe a few challenges because you know, life is life. And we're currently in 2021, <laughs> right? Um, but this is great. This bodes very, um, very, very well for you because it suggests that you're not only you open to the pure potential that is in front of you, but you're also able to adapt to whatever it is that comes up for you this month, right? And taking things in new directions is, you know, is not even so much that it comes naturally to you, but you are a mutable sign. So there is a changeable, you know, changeable energy to you. You are still an earth sign. We have to, you know, call a spade a spade, but there's that, you know, element or energy of transmutation about you. And the full card is all things that, like in this deck, um, this is the Green Witch Tarot by Anne Mora, and she's called him the Green Man. And he represents the spirit of all things, like the spirit of growth, the spirit of uh, mischief and trickery and, and, you know, the animating force that drives through all things, right? It, it pertains to everything, but it belongs to nothing. Um, and there's this element of reveling in life right being a, a, a real alive citizen and i know that sounds really weird but it's like the best way that i can explain it like there's a sense of autonomy that comes from this as well um you know so in some way shape or form maybe you're freeing yourself from something which could be very exciting for your um money and materials so you've got the three of cups this is nice before we get into that though there is something that i want to uh, talk to you about i've just got where well, one announcement um, this year on the winter solstice, so on the 21st of December, I will be hosting my annual winter solstice alignment activation session. And this year I have not only one, but two special guests. I've got uh, Heather from Astrology with Heather coming along to give us all of her astrological insights and wisdom. I have Denise from Human Design with Denise, who is actually the designer of the uh, Oracle deck that I use, the Human Design Oracle deck. So two amazing powerhouses and storehouses of knowledge will be joining me. We're going to be talking astrology. We're going to be talking human design. We're going to be talking numerology. I will, of course, be pulling tarot cards as well. Um, and then as if that wasn't enough, we're going to tap into the magic of the solstice itself, not only to set intentions, but I'm going to shoot you off into the future via a future life progression. So kind of like a guided visualization to see what the year is going to hold for you, what you need to be aware of, what you might need to know, what you might need to sidestep. So you really are getting the cheat code to 2022 to making it your best year yet. You can get your seat on the link in the description box below. It would be lovely to have you. All right. So three of cups when it comes to your money, your materials and your finances, it's going to be through new connections, new partnerships, new collaborations, possibly even through new friendships as well, that this month you can find that your, um, your finances 
that your uh, earning potential increases. There's something here where you are, you know, maybe aligning yourself with somebody or maybe finding a new group that you want to be a part of or finding a new coach, a new mentor. Like there's something here that suggests that you are working with or alongside a very new, um, a very new group, right? And there is, there's new money on its way into you because it's there with the, the, the full card. So this is some action that you take this month is gonna align you with something that really expands and grows your financial outlook and also your material um, stability, right? There's a lot of fun to be had this month, a lot of enjoyment, a lot of laughter, even a little bit of mischief. <laughs> which is always exciting to me because, you know, it's good for the soul. Um, for your communications and conversations, wow, you've got the Empress. So I'm gonna say this to you right now. For those of you that don't want babies, for those of you that don't want any more babies, this is a month to really like, full card, fertil fertility card, three of cups, that's a card of birth and or pregnancy. Uh, and then you've got the Earth Mother in this deck, but that's the Empress. That is a lot, a lot, a lot of fertile energy. So if there are projects, ideas, and things that you wanna give birth to, this is a great month to do so, especially where you're aligning with or connecting with others, right? Anything that you're doing in that sort of group sort of setting um, could be very powerful for you. For those of you that are um, for you know, if you want to start a family, if you want to have children, this is a like this much fertile energy, you've definitely got it behind you. Um, now, another way that this could show up as well, because fertile energy isn't just about babies, it's also about projects, ideas, and endeavors. Now, you've got the Empress here in the communication sector. This could be, especially next to the Three of Cups, this could be a really juicy bit of gossip. This could be an inside track. This could be someone coming to you and saying, this stock is going to blow up. Put as much money as you can into it. Um, this could be somebody coming to you and saying, you know, this cryptocurrency is about to explode. Put some money into it. There's something here where you're getting like an inside piece of information from somebody who actually knows what they're talking about. And because it's like the three of, because it's the Empress, that's like, it's gossip, but it's juicy. Like it's something that can, you know, can really, really help you. And because you've got that three of cups, this is like a friend, somebody that is, you know, somebody that likes you, that shines on you, that smiles on you, but they've got that little tidbit of info that could really help you in some way. And because you've got the full card, like it, it's likely to come out of the blue, like in, in a way that you're not expecting. All in all though, that's a very nice way to, uh, to go through the month. And then finally, for the love and relations, or the heart and half, you've got the six of cups. This is beautiful, all right? For those of you that have siblings, this could be a wonderful time of spending time together, you know, as, as the whole family holiday thing. Another way that this might show up for you as well, for those of you that are single, this is one of those very rare times when a reconnection means a literal reconnection. If you're single, this could be an old partner coming back into your life. And this could see that this person has genuinely changed. Like they could say to you like, you know, I'm a different person now, I've changed, da, da, da. This is one of those few times where I would say I actually believe them. This looks like somebody who's done a lot of work on themselves. Um, it looks like they still have mischief in their soul, which, you know, I ain't never gonna be mad at anybody that does. <laughs> Just cause. Um, but yeah, that's it's really nice. For those of you that are partnered, married, or in long-term commitments, this is a lot of fertile energy. The Six of Cups has a very childlike energy about it. So if you don't want children, if you've got a project or an idea that you guys want to work together on, or that you wanna to bring to fruition, there's so much energy in this month. There's so much energy in, in making something happen this month. So use this to your advantage because you know even if you're not necessarily putting that energy into having children, it's still a fertile energy to grow or to create something that means a lot to you. So use this month, right? Use it to your advantage. Okay, so as we get into the weeks of the month ahead, for the first week, you have the moon card, right? You've got this with the full. So this is a cycle, a pattern of some sort that is repeating. Now, one thing that you need to be aware of here, 
something that comes up or someone that comes up uh, this this month especially this first week of the month you're likely to see this and think hmm this looks familiar don't knee jerk react to this right take a moment to observe and then to respond to whatever it is that's taking place because the chances are something about it this time round or them or you is vastly vastly different and this is what i say to a lot of people you know even if the other person even if the situation hasn't changed one thing has since last time and that is you now because you've got this full card here some old pattern cycle and you know it doesn't have to sometimes old patterns and cycles are good for us so they're ones that we enjoy the ones that have got us to where we are um this does suggest though that an old pattern or an old cycle is coming up for review it's being looked at it might need to be refreshed rejuvenated in some way um but very very interesting so your second week of the month you've got the justice card so this could be uh, some new group, some new group endeavor, some new contract that comes up for you. Now you've got this next to the moon card. So anything that you are signing, just make sure you're getting a, a second look or a double, a second look, uh, get like a second opinion or like a, yeah, you, that's, you know, but that being said, this is you committing to a new path or a new a new uh, new earning potential or new revenue stream in some way and like i said whatever it is that the, is being shared with you like whatever piece of information is coming in it has very good implications for your finances um i actually like that you know with the justice card because it says that you know you're committed to making a friendship or a, co a commitment or a connection work you got the Hierophant card with the Empress. That is a lot of Earth energy. That's really potent Earth. So as we come into the third week, whatever you do or don't celebrate, happy Christmas, happy Hanukkah, happy Kwanzaa. For those of you that celebrate, a happy Yule. From my heart to yours, I truly hope your holiday season is wonderful. This is really nice. So whoever this person is, it's likely to be a woman and it's likely to be somebody that really knows their stuff. This could be somebody that's in banking, somebody that's uh, a legal professional of some sort. Whatever information this, this is that's coming at you, it's inside information. So I will say this to you, if you are going to share it, be very selective of, uh, of who you share it with, like with people that you know are gonna be able to keep their mouths shut. And the reason I say this is, whatever they're giving you is like, you know, like that insider information, it could be detrimental to them if it gets out that they've shared it with anybody. So you need to be very selective about who, if anyone, that you share it with as well. But I don't know why, I just, I really like that. It's like someone saying to you like, here's the you know here's what you don't know but need to know but i can't tell you this didn't happen um very interesting in terms of your holidays as you know and that that holiday bubble this is really nice but with that hierophant card it does suggest that you might be having a little bit of a you might be in a lot more like you'll really be enjoying yourself but there's a lot of deep observation taking place as well like there's a lot of really sort of deep inner um uh, I almost want to say like inner rituals taking place, but very, very interesting. And then finally, for your fourth week of the month, you've got the lover's card. So you've got two sixes here. Two sixes represent balance. And there's a lot of that balancing kind of energy around, you know, like it's just, this is a very interesting spread. Um, you've got no fire here though, as in like literally none. It's all water, earth and air. So what this suggests is this is a time for you to, to chill, right? Observe, it's a time for you to be and to enjoy, but not necessarily to, to do or to act on things straight away. Whatever new beginnings show up or you feel directed to do, obviously go for, but it doesn't look like a month of like, you know, hardcore action and, you know, let's get on with this and, you know, a million plans, three and four a penny. It's a lot more of uh, unfolding and observation and conversation. So for your new moon message, that new moon, solar eclipse, you have the gate 53 and opening, which suggests that there is uh, a new path of some sort that's being illuminated to you. And it's funny because the figure on here, she actually kind of looks like the Empress. So that new moon could really highlight a path to you 
and it might like I said there's there's a new it's not just an opening but there's a new path that's being revealed to you that will see you meeting new people interacting with new people and having great new ideas that take you in very different directions and your full moon energy is the gate 56 and the storyteller this in a lot of ways for me is about finding not only finding out what your story is but finding peace with telling that story whether it's a good one whether it's a challenging one like whatever it is this is about you sharing all of who you are from the ground up the good the bad the ugly and the truly truly spectacular um, and finding a way to tell that story and not only to inspire others but also to remind yourself of the path or the journey that you've walked so it's going to be a, a good month for you guys i think all in all i wish you an abundance of all of that good stuff have a fantastic month and a holiday season and i truly hope that 2022 is a wonderful year for you and i truly hope that it is your best year yet Thank you so much for all of your support throughout the year. It has meant the absolute world and I really truly hope to see you over the course of the year ahead. Take care and I'll see you soon.